Isolation can be a frequent part of being a caregiver, but making connections to help counteract this could happen in places you may not think about. Places like a book club, church, the doctor's office, or a support group. That's the message this National Family Caregivers Month. They need connection with other caregivers that can empathize uh, and understand what they're going through, uh, because that isolation can also be around um, really not having a source to um, to vent, someone to talk to, uh, and that further isolates the individual because thinking that someone may not understand. It's something John Poole tells us he experienced when his parents suffered strokes within a month of each other. I was 30 when I became a caregiver and that's, well, at the time I thought it was almost un, like unheard of or very rare to have that happen in that point in your life. But after I educated myself a little bit, I found out there were more millennial caregivers and people in their 20s and 30s who were care who were charged with the task of caregiving for their parents or grandparents or someone very close to them. Marvell Adams Jr. with the Caregiver Action Network says recognizing the normalcy that can still be in your life will help your own mental health and connections as a caregiver. There is a new free online group that can help you make those connections as well. You can get there by scanning the QR code on your screen.